let's talk about an important class of special functions called Legendre polynomials. So the definition of Legendre polynomials comes from a differential equation. So let's consider the differential equation, or diffy q, uh, of the following. 1 minus x squared y double prime minus 2xy prime plus l l plus 1 times y, and that's all equal to 0. And this differential equation should be true in the region for x between negative 1 and 1. So what we want to know is what is the solution to this differential equation, which we'll call y sub l of x. Uh, your first reaction might be, yikes, this looks like a pretty crazy differential equation. Uh, one thing I want to point out is that the solutions will depend on what this integer l actually is. Well, so let's look at the solutions l by l. Uh, for any particular um, L solution. And it turns out all of these solutions are well known. So let's look at the simplest one, L equal to 1. So our differential equation becomes 1 minus x squared y sub 1 double prime minus 2xy 1 prime plus 2, 1, 2y 1 equal to 0. Well, so it turns out the solution to this differential equation is y is equal to x. Uh, notably, the first term is 0, the second term is minus 2x times 1, and then the third term is 2x, so it gets you 0. Okay, so that seems like a nice solution, that works. Um, you can go to a different L, say curly L equal to 2. Then the differential equation changes just on that last term, so rewrite these terms, you get 6y2 of x equal to 0 on that last term. And it turns out in this case, the solution to this differential equation, although it's not obvious, is 1 half 3x squared minus 1. I encourage you to check that. We're not going to check it here. Um, it actually is indeed the solution to this differential equation. In general, again, the solutions to all of these uh, differential equations for any given L are known and are worked out. And they're called uh, Legendre polynomials, and they're given this designation P sub L of X. That's what we mean by Legendre polynomials. Um, there is a way to write this in terms of a closed form. It's not particularly nice, but let's write it just so we're on the same page. So P sub L can be written as a sum from M equal to 0 to big M. We'll talk about what that is in a second. Minus 1 to the M. 2L minus 2M factorial. 2 to the, over 2 to the L, M factorial, L minus M factorial, L minus 2M factorial, times X to the L minus 2M. Yeah, yikes. This big M is um, L over 2 if L is even, or L minus 1 over 2 if L is odd. So it's like the closest, uh, um, closest integer. Okay, so um, this looks pretty messy, and it's not really clear what to do with this. Uh, it's, it's um, not very nice. But it turns out this is really not a problem. This is just some table. This is some way you can look up a function or calculate a function. So you just calculate the table of functions once and then just look it up whenever you need it. So for instance, uh, you can look this up on Mathematica. In Mathematica, you type in Legendre P uh, of 1 comma x. It gives you the uh, piece of 1. You can do Legendre of 5 comma x, it gives you the fifth Legendre polynomial. Or you can make a table of the Legendre polynomials um, for any n, say from n equal to 0 to, I don't know, 6. And here are the first six Legendre polynomials. Let's plot what the Legendre polynomials look like. Let's say p equal to th or l equal to 3, looks like that. l equal to 4, looks like that and so on. So these polynomials are all well known. You can just look them up in your Mathematica or some other a way of looking them up. Okay, so a really important application of Legendre polynomials is to what's called the Fourier Legendre series. So let's let a function f of x be some function which is defined in a region um, and let's let this region be uh, the usual 0x L. Okay. So what we know from Fourier series is that we can expand almost any function as a series uh, in signs in this region. So we can write f of x 
as the sum over some coefficients from n equal to 0 to infinity, a sub n sine of n pi x over l. So this is the usual Fourier series. And this expansion gives us a function, or gives us the function, in the region um, between 0 and l. So that's what we mean by doing a Fourier series. So again, that's just review of what we know if we're Fourier series. But it turns out, oh, sorry, we did want to mention that uh, this is true only in the region 0 to l. It's certainly not true outside of this region, of course. But we can also do this, it turns out, with Legendre polynomials. And so what we're going to do is we're going to write our function f of x in the same way we're going to write it as a sum over Legendre polynomials. So do a sum from n equal to 0 to infinity, some coefficients, call it uh, sum over l, p sub l of x, where the p sub l are the Legendre polynomials. And this is called the Fourier-Legendre series. Naturally, it's not just a Fourier series because it involves Legendre polynomials. And just as with the Fourier series, this expansion gives us the function in this particular region, namely the region between negative 1 and 1, because that's where the differential equation was defined. The coefficients a sub l can be calculated in a formula that looks like this, 2l plus 1 over 2, and then an integral from negative 1 to 1 of f of x times p sub l of x dx. This actually looks really similar to uh, an expression with Fourier series, where you do the integral uh, times the sine uh, of a function. 